And thank you very much for your time. And if there are more questions. Um, I have a question. So I find this last picture interesting because, as I understand it, the ordinance doesn't ban vaping, but yet every one of these kids sitting in this picture vaping. And quite frankly, that's where I want to be. Yeah. So why did we come up short on it? So um, we, so the idea has been that um, we would re reduce youth access and we would hold adults accountable for youth getting access to tobacco products, but that we weren't going to criminalize the behavior of young people. But what we really need is a strong diversion program and strong cessation program for young people that are addicted. There's a store in my district that sells to every minor they can sell to. Um, vaping equipment, the, the little pods yeah. or whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I don't understand your answer compared to my question because we still came up short. And I mean, I hear the argument that vaping has helped people quit, but it has also helped more people start. And it's younger kids that are transitioning, and I know this for a fact, to cigarettes. So why are we coming up short? Why don't we ban vaping? Why uh, are other jurisdictions okay. doing it, and we seem to not have the cojones to do it? Um, Can I say that? I, okay, I understand. So I thought you were talking about the vaping behavior. My, my apology for not, not understanding. Um, so you're, you're talking about banning all of the vaping products. Like and, other jurisdictions yeah. have. And are. Um, we, we weren't asked to, to um, do that, but I mean, it's, there are models for that. Livermore has one, as, as well as San Francisco. Um, well, I'm asking yeah. that we do that. So okay. I don't want to delay this. We can start this, and then we can come back and amend it. But I'm asking you to go back and do whatever necessary to ban vaping. Okay. Okay. Yes. Great. So we can we can amend the ordinance later after you get it ready. But that is the area in which we're going. I mean, I know that a lot of these kids that are getting sick right now from vaping are really they're kind of making their own little cocktails and kind of doing it with pot and all that other stuff. But, I mean, I, I get there's other things going on, but it's still a public health crisis. And I think to, to do anything and come up short, we didn't really do anything. So I really want to see you go in that direction, and I hope that that can come back to us within the next couple months. Okay. Okay? Yes. Thank you for your direction. Uh, I have some speakers. If you go ahead, though. Yeah, a couple of quick things. So, um, do you know when this is going to the Max, the Fairview Mac, Castro Valley Mac? So it's Fairview. going to the Castro Valley Mac on November eighteenth, and the Fairview Mac on December third. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then the Eden Mac, we're aiming for January, um, assuming it's it's seated it, by it, that. Yeah. Okay. 